the lights on full. Parked up outside in the old school. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a 7 p.m. summer night routine. Today is Sunday and this video actually perfectly falls in line with kind of how my life is going right now. My current routine the past few days. I just finished the 75 hard challenge, which most of y'all know, but if you don't know what that is, basically I have to do these five rules every day for 75 days. And I completed it and I actually got y'all this gift for supporting me while doing it. It's a preserved rose, it lasts three years. But it's currently 7 p.m. The past few days I've been taking a rest day and giving myself some grace, letting myself chill, relax. But recently I've really been letting myself get more into the physical forms of self-care. Doing the 75 hard challenge really built my mental and I was taking care of myself mentally. But something that I think I did miss out on was taking care of myself physically. Other than the workouts, because I couldn't have any rest, my body was just so tired all the time. So whenever I would do my skincare, I would just wash my face and moisturize. I wouldn't do my full skincare routine and I would clean up my apartment but then I'd stuff things in drawers and stuff things in my closet that you can't see and it wasn't like that all the time but I'm recognizing that that's something that I could work on more so that I'm consistently picking up consistently having a spotless apartment and not having to backtrack every few days that's one of the next challenges moving forward and today is our last rest day our last day to chill and spend time with ourselves and I'm going to show y'all how I do that the first thing that I like to do every night whenever I get out of bed whether that be right when I wake up in the morning or later on because I laid in bed, which is okay, is to write in my planner. So we're gonna write in my planner everything that I'm gonna get done today, and we'll probably end up writing in it again before the night's over. Let's write in our planner. They really do keep me so on track. Like, I love my planner. Here it is. I just took a quick body shower because I washed my hair yesterday and I'm trying to make better decisions for my hair so that it can be healthier. And while we're on the topic of hair, I want to give a big thank you to MD Hair for sponsoring today's YouTube video. This is like a dream collaboration. I've been using a customized hair care kit from them the last two, three weeks. And it came with a customized hair care serum, customized hair wellness supplements, marine collagen, and a shampoo as well as a conditioner. Y'all, this is saving my hair right now. MD Hair is the world's first medical grade hair growth treatment and it's customized to the exact cause and type of hair loss. The website uses a scalp picture analysis to customize each kit, which is really cool because over time you'll be able to see your scalp change and your hair grow, which makes it very interactive. My favorite product is the hair serum. I actually never used a hair serum before I used their hair serum. I I've dyed and bleached my hair a lot, especially within the last three years. And I was using a lot of permanent dye and then I bleached my hair a couple times. I bleached my hair like seven times. I fried my hair. And so it's definitely been a journey towards getting healthier and maintaining my hair a lot better. So as soon as these products came in, I started taking cold showers, which is better for my skin and my hair and using a heat protectant in my hair whenever I'm gonna be in the sun and having hair wash days, not washing my hair every day. And I've seen drastic differences and I love this serum because I'm someone who loves routine. I've been focusing on applying it towards the front of my hair because that's where I lost a lot of the hair whenever I was bleaching it. It's all growing back in. I swear this whole part was just cinched. And having that front area come in, even just a little bit since I've started using it, is making my hair look more full. Since I just got out of the shower and I didn't wash my hair and my hair is dry right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the serum. And when I was in the shower yesterday, I did use the shampoo and the conditioner that my customized hair kit came with. It also smells so good. I have tape and extensions, so I have to be careful with this, but I'm gonna go right down the middle and massage it in. I love having a hair care routine. 
I'm focusing a lot in the front though because that's where I feel like I lost the most hair. MD Hair is actually having an amazing deal right now where you get 70% off your first monthly kit with full size products if you use my link and my code. I mean, it really is an amazing deal. I'm flattered. And all of their products are paraben and sulfate free. Making sure that the things that you're using are sulfate and paraben free, especially when having extensions, is a game changer. The other shampoo and conditioners that I used to use were destroying my extensions solely because I was getting products with those ingredients in them. So not only is my actual hair thanking me, but my extension hair is too. And again, I just want to give a big thank you to MD Hair. Don't forget to use my code or the link in the description box for 70% off your first kit. Or you could also scan this QR code on the screen and it'll take you to their website from this video. I'm going to put my hair in two braids really quick and then we're going to do some skincare. I have a little bit of cleaning that I'm going to do tonight, but I'm going to save some of the bigger things for tomorrow. This has also been saving my hair too because I'm a crazy sleeper and I wake up and my hair is in knots. No, it's not tangled whenever I wake up. <laughs> I think I'm just going to moisturize and probably use a facial oil. I need to hydrate my face. Also, I did not drink a lot of water today and I usually drink a gallon of water because I was doing that for 75 days as part of the challenge. Drinking a lot of water just made me so energized and honestly happy throughout the day. <laughs> not that I'm not happy throughout the day now, but happier. Dewy skin cream. I'm also going to put some on my neck. And this is a Province Beauty Facial Oil. I love just having hydrated, moisturized skin. Okay, glass skin. Let's brush our teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and start a load of laundry, but I know that I'm not gonna finish my loads of laundry, but that way I can just put it in the dryer and have one load done, and I'll already be in the middle of doing it when I wake up tomorrow, rather than starting it tomorrow. Luckily, I only have a small mess to pick up. It should only take me like 15 minutes. I've been doing pretty good about staying on top of picking up things rather than leaving them out. I've been bad at that like my whole entire life, but we do win it this year. <laughs> I just wrote my planner and I also wrote down a list of things that I need to pack. Um, I'm sure there's a few things that I missed, hopefully not, but if so, at least I have a baseline of the things that I don't want to forget. I'm going to make a bowl of ice cream really quick. Or, no, let's eat mochi. We're going to eat mochi and we're going to watch Love Island. Uh, it's 12 a.m. right now. I actually did pretty good on the schedule of getting myself up and at it, but I've been really loving the chill nights like these, which means now it's time to start resetting my sleep schedule, which I think will be really easy to do because I'm going to Texas for a week. And I think Texas is two hours, maybe three hours ahead, meaning if I wake up at nine, that's six here. 
and that'd be a really easy way for me to reset my sleep schedule so that's gonna be one of my goals for whenever i go back which i am gonna do a weekly vlog for but it would be ideal for me to get my cleaning and work out and just all of the hard stuff done in the beginning of the day instead of letting myself prolong until the nighttime. it's just been a problem for me the last two weeks but before then i was doing really good for like two months i know i have it in me i know i can do it why not start when i go back to texas i think it's a really smart idea i'm doing it the smart way i'm also celebrating my 21st with my family before i celebrate it here so it'll be an interesting vlog <laughs> okay i got some snacks this is a strawberry uncrustable and then four little mochi ice creams I'm so excited. Every summer, I'm stuck in a habit of, even though I'm out of school and I've been out of school for a few years, every time summer rolls around, I start getting knocked off my routine. I've never had a consistent routine during summer ever. I always stay up late and wake up late. And this year, I just know that I'm going to stop doing that and discipline myself to stay on a routine. So I'm excited to see where this summer goes. But with that being said, I'm really enjoying having just my chill time and feeling like I can take things slower during summer. I mean also I guess I did just do 75 hard so that plays a big part in it too. It has been a good while since I've gotten to like lay down in bed and watch a tv show, eat my little snacks, so I'm super happy. <laughs> I'm not really like the biggest Love Island fan, but then again, I say that and I watch every single episode. Someone asked me one time if I'd ever be on Love Island and I was like, uh, no. I think I try to convince myself I don't like it, but I definitely like it because I keep watching it. She is beauty, she is grace. Hot. She's hot. Wow. These are so good. I love mochi. Mochi is one of my favorite snacks. Desserts. Which girl to choose? Rooster. You know.